So I've had a couple of comments on my YouTube channel uh, requesting that I show them how I actually flash my ESP32 devices with ESP Home. So that's what we're gonna do today. Welcome back to Simon Says. My name is Simon. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you the method I use using Nebuchadnezzar to flash my ESP32 devices. So if you're interested in my channel, you wanna learn more about home automation, please like and subscribe to my channel so you'll be updated whenever I release my weekly videos. So the first thing we want to do is to open up the Google Chrome browser. This is the only browser that I've found that it works in, so always use Google Chrome. Next, what you're gonna do is plug your ESP32 into your computer, into one of the USB ports, and make sure that you've got the right cable. Some of the cables only provide power to the ESP32. You need to make sure that you've got a cable that does both power and data. And you plug that into ESP32 and into your computer USB port. So next what do we do, now that we've got Google Chrome open, we need to go to Nebuchadnezzar because we need to be logged in via a sort of a remote access. So we go to Nebuchadnezzar. So in my previous video, gave you a little bit of info about Nebuchadnezzar, why I like it so much, how to set it up, and this is another reason that I love Nebuchadnezzar so much. So what we do, we now go and we log in. There we go, so we log in. So once we log into Nebuchadnezzar, um, now we can go down here and we wanna to go to remote user interface. So we connect by that. Now if you look up here, you'll see that we're connecting to our Home Assistant remotely. So this is what you need to be able to use the ESP32 uh, programming method that I'm going to show you. There are other ways, but I must admit I have had struggles with getting the ESP32 to work, whereas this one seems to be a relatively easy way to go. So now what I do, I go to my ESP home. I'm running the beta version or the dev version, but it doesn't really matter which version you're running. So now we go new device and it will now pop up a new device. So we'll just call this ESP um, test for my video, and we go next. Okay, so it's now going to connect. So I'm just gonna go skip. So it's an ESP32 that I've got. This has been very interesting. I see that they've now allowed for the S3 as well. So that's pretty cool, because I've got a little S3 TDGO display that I'm gonna use soon. So this is awesome news. First time I've seen it there. So this one is just a standard ESP32, and we're going to go now and we're going to install this. Um, so we'll just skip here and we'll just edit in here quickly to see. So you'll see that it's using my secrets, so that's all fine, I don't have to do anything. So all I'm going to do now is I am going to go to this ESP test, click on the three dots, install, pops that up, I'm gonna go, we're plugging into this computer, and we're using the USB serial port COM7. Now be careful if you've got other USB devices plugged into your computer, you need to make sure that you find the one that is the actual ESP32. So plug it out, see which one it is, and then plug it back in. So there we go, we select that. Now the next thing you need to do, is take your ESP32 and hold the boot button while you press this, okay? So we do that, boot and button is held, and now we go and we connect. So now what it'll do is it'll look for my ESP32 and it will start writing that code. There we go. So once it starts installing, you'll see over here, it will give you a little completion percentage. And once that is all done, then it is pretty much ready to go. So, we'll just... so the device is now connecting up to the Wi-Fi network. So we just give that a second to connect to the Wi-Fi network. Cool, so now you'll see it's popped up here, it's created, and now it's popped up in the notification section of Home Assistant. So we go to New Devices Discovered, and we can now go in there and we can configure that device. So we go here, and we add it to Home Assistant. Now, it's looking for the encryption key. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to, just close that for a second, go back to our ESP Home, and we'll go to that test ESP32. We'll go down here and we select the encryption key over here. So it's created that for us. We just 
copy that, go back to our notifications, devices found, configure it, stick our key in there, and this will then connect. So there we go, we can select an area, it's in my living area, living room, and finish. So if we scroll down now to our ESP32s, uh, where is it, over here, so many different devices on this network there we go esp home and we go here test esp32 we've got one device it is all connected um, and it's ready to go so now what we can do is we can go back here and we can start customizing that new esp32 by adding sensors or whatever else we want to do with it so i hope that's helped you that is the way that i've done it and it pretty much always works for me. Um, there are lots of other ways of doing it, but this is personally my favorite. Anyway, that's all for now. Have a great week. Bye then.